Hey, my Sagittarius friends, how are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. And for those of you that are new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Rhea and today I am doing a reading for my beautiful Sagittarius friends. So we're going to ask Spirit Guides what message you need to hear today as you're watching. Now, my, general, my readings are general readings, so I ask that everyone please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if you're looking for a personal reading, I do do personal readings. You can uh, receive my information below in the description box. Okay, so we are going to now ask Spirit Guides what message you need to hear, my beautiful Sagittarius. All right. So we are getting the star card. Who starts off with a star card? Sagittarius, apparently. So look at that, everyone. So the star card is a beautiful card to receive right in the beginning of your reading because overall, I feel like you are meant for something bigger in this life, my Sagittarius friend. So look at that. You are meant to... Um, be recognized. I feel that there is uh, blessings coming your way here from the universe, okay? There's almost like um, if you've been manifesting or praying for something, know that this is your sign confirming that the universe is going to deliver this for you, okay? And uh, to have hope, to have faith, because things are going to start looking up for you, my friends. And I feel that a lot of you are going to be recognized. I feel this is also coming up here with fame okay um the star is shining right above this uh this gentleman's head it's and i feel like a lot of eyes are going to be on you okay you're going to be somebody of major influence and that is what i'm getting here with spirit guides with the star card i feel like a lot of you are also um going to come into your own and allow your light to shine. So I feel for some of you Sagittarius as maybe you guys are embarking on um, becoming influencers or a person of influence in some way, shape or form. I'm seeing leadership here as well. Um, I'm seeing a lot of balance in your life as well. It's just this beautiful energy that's coming in here that the universe is blessing you with. And I feel like there's a lot of inspiration um, deep down within your heart as well that is like igniting this feeling of um, there's something there that you're doing that is um, helping you manifest um, this dream of yours. A lot of you are taking action. I'm seeing action here as well. Um, we're getting the Empress card. Wow, look at this. Check this reading out, Sagittarius. You guys are on fire. Okay, so Empress energy with the star card. Okay, so I'm seeing um, you're creating something new. There's an opportunity coming in here for you. The universe is going to present you with uh, something that is going to bring you abundance. Okay, and um, oh my gosh, it's giving you like I'm getting this feeling that you're going to take onus of your life. You are the one that's going to be now in charge of your own life. Um, and you're going to embrace this growth within yourself and within everything that you do. It's almost like everything you touch turns to gold. Okay, that is what I'm getting here with the Star card and the Empress card. And with the Empress card, I always... Um, tie this with um, the Empress card as mom energy. So if you can picture your mom, I always find a mom, you know, to be a very strong person, someone that takes care of everything that makes things happen. She's the one that um, takes care of the whole household. She's the one that feeds everybody in the house. She's the one that is, is the one that makes like the whole home a home. She is like happy. She is comforting. She is love. Um, so that is kind of how I tie this card as, as mom energy. And that's what I'm getting with you. Like this feeling of you taking care of things and she's also got a bull here that's protecting her so spirit guys want you to know that you are also protected at this time your energy is protected and it doesn't even matter what it is that you want to do you're going to be successful in everything that you do my friends 
Okay. What a great way to start a reading. Look at that. All right. Nine of Wands we are getting as well here. Nine of Wands. I feel some of you may have been um, going through a period where um, your faith was being tested almost, or you felt like you were being tested with just things that are going on around you, okay? And um, with this energy, I also feel like um, there is nothing that can break your spirit. I feel like you're a very strong person and you come through a lot and that has made you um, as strong as you are, as powerful and more determined than you ever once were, okay? This is what is bringing in this energy here from the star card, that hope, okay? Um, that courage. I feel like a lot of you are putting boundaries in place here as well. Um, just around your life, you're getting rid of um, toxic people, toxic energies around you and, and protecting yourself from those negative energies okay it's just like how she is um, protecting herself she has um, surrounded herself with sticks and things and she's got one herself so I feel some of you have come through a very uh, long um, life experience of hardship and now you're in a position where you've regained your strength your hope your faith um, and this is now um, amplifying your energy in a, in a in a in a way that is um, helping you manifest something in a very very strong way here, my friends. So that is the overall. And I've got a um, I've got a ladybug on my window, so that is good luck. You're even getting a ladybug showing up as I'm doing your reading here Sagittarius so look at that nothing but blessings for you my friends um spirit guides also want you to know that you want to remain in this energy and keep your energy protected at all times so um they're asking that you really connect with your higher self with your spirit guides because they're going to help guide you okay you have a whole team with you and they're ready and willing to help guide you through this whole process okay so call on your spirit guides you're even asking that you um meditate okay and um maybe there's one i'm getting that there might be one specific person that you might have in mind that might be um an energy vampire you really need to protect your energy from this could be a person that can distract you quite a bit a distraction or some sort of a distract a distraction around um I'm getting the hermit card here okay so spirit guides again are wanting you to connect to your um, higher self here for guidance because um, I feel because you are protecting your energy and you need um, to keep protecting your energy you need some guidance here okay and um, with the hermit card spirit guides are really wanting you to look for answers within yourself okay to pause and reflect and look at where you are because especially i feel like this is just dis distracting energy okay where you're having to protect yourself and put boundaries in place and um because of this it's almost like it's giving you uh, anx anxious nervous energy and they really want you to calm your nerves and the only way to do that is to um, pause and be quiet pause your mind and quiet it down and learn to meditate and look for answers within yourself from your higher self and um, it's almost like doing self ref reflection introspection is kind of what I'm getting here and the minute you start doing that you're going to receive a lot of clarity you're going to get some um, intuitive downloads as well so spirit guides are really asking you to focus your energy here and take a moment to um, pause and take a break in your day to really meditate and uh, incorporate that into your lifestyle here my friends okay especially because you are going to be on a really um, big path here, okay? I'm getting like stardom. It's almost on that level where there's going to be a lot of people around you. So 
I feel that you definitely need to learn to protect your energy, okay? Because there's gonna, you're gonna have a lot of people looking at you, looking. Um, you know how stars have like paparazzi, and there's people uh, on online stalking them, and you've got so much attention on you that you're gonna have to put up boundaries and things, and you're gonna have to mentally be very stable. Okay, so they're asking that you start practicing that now. All right, that is the energy I'm getting, and that is why you're getting the Hermit card, is to really start um, start mastering that within yourself. Okay, because what happens is uh, the minute you start to grow and people start to, you, it's like mega stars. They kind of crack for some reason um, and it's just they can't handle it. And I feel like if you build that strength now, you're going to be okay. You're going to be fine, but I feel like you need to do that. Spirit guys are asking that you do that because you have some big, big, big things coming into your life here, Sagittarius. Um, and last but not least, we are getting the Queen of Cups here as well. Okay, I feel like you're a very um, kind, uh, loving, and caring person. Okay, people um, people are attracted to your energy. They're drawn to you. And it's because you have this like uh, compassionate um, energy, this loving, this like warm energy. Um, you're almost like someone that gives really good advice, okay? People can come to you and talk to you. You're a really good listener. And because of that, you're just a very kind person. And I feel that the reason why spirit guides really want you to set boundaries and protect your energy is because there's people out there that may take advantage of you. And I think because I was trying to clarify that um, and I wasn't doing a good job of doing that for you right now, <laughs> spirit guides are like, all right, let's pull this card so I can clarify it a little bit better. So thank you, spirit guides, for um, correcting me. It's funny how they do that. Sometimes they're really funny. Um, so yeah, they're just wanting you to know that you're a very, very sweet, very kind, very giving person. And they don't want you to be taken advantage of by all the attention that you are going to soon receive here, my friends, to master um, setting boundaries, master quieting your mind. Um, I feel for a lot of you are also empaths and... Um, other people's emotions, other people's energies can um, affect you, okay? So just be very aware of that and be very careful of that. And I don't know why I'm getting a dizzy spell. Um, I don't know if that has to do with you, if you get overwhelmed easily or if... But I feel um, spirit guides really want you to be protected and they are here to protect you. And that is why they need you to pause and reflect and to really look at the things that you need to do to protect yourself, your energy. And you are the only person that knows um, how to do that and what your uh, strengths and your weaknesses are, okay? And to really look deep down inside to see what it is that you actually truly need protection on, okay? Um, I'm a very kind person and sometimes, not sometimes, throughout my uh, life, uh, I've had people take advantage of my kindness, of my sweetness, right? And I'm still, um, that hasn't hindered me in any way. I mean, I'm still very giving, very loving, very kind, right? I'm just more aware of the type of people that will take advantage of me. So I do put blocks and things up, uh, to make sure that people don't take advantage of me anymore, right? Um, so I feel that for some of you, you really need to uh, learn to strengthen that within yourself. And uh, the best way to do that for spirit guides to help connect to you and to protect you or guide you in that sense is to learn to meditate and really quiet your mind and uh, learn to look within yourself uh, for answers and things like that, right? Especially um, putting up boundaries and protecting your energy. Um, if there's any kind of um, ritual that you can put and in, incorporate into your life to help you with that, you know, for me um, to calm my energy or to bring me into a better place, I like to uh, listen to music. Music puts me in a really good mood. I'm, I'm overall a happy person in general, um, but 
I sometimes, if I'm, I feel like I'm not motivated, I will, um, put music on. So in the morning I get up and, um, I, put my dancey music on that way I get into a really good mood and I'm putting my makeup on doing my hair you know it gets me in a really good mood and um, helps my energy flow a little bit better and um, you know uh, through my life's experiences I have learned to put boundaries up now um, just by experiencing different people and I feel for you um, of course this is going to come with experience but from the experiences you've already gone through which I feel like there has been quite a bit from what spirit guides are letting me know that um, really master protecting your energy here my friends because your your mission in life is much bigger you are following your destiny and you're meant for big things here in the world okay so that is your message here my beautiful Sagittarius friends I hope it resonates for you if it does please comment below I would love to hear all about it and if you're enjoying my video hit that like button and if you're new to my channel and you're enjoying my content please consider subscribing other than that I wanted to wish all of you a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching